So what we knew was that, you know, there was much variability in this condition. You can have it from the one on the left, which is actually a very nice little Norwich Terrier larynx, to the one on the right, which is a quite badly affected. You can see here we've got these swollen, where we should have the piriform recess, we have swollen tissue here. Uh, these cuneiforms are pointing inwards and we have inverted saccules there. So, so much variability, we knew that. We know that Norwich Terriers are not brachycephalic, but was there a tendency towards brachycephalism in the breed? I just want to point out here, if you can see on this video, you can see this sort of loose tissue that's coming over the top of the corniculate processes here. We call that the scarf, or Grace calls it the scarf, and it's quite, uh, quite characteristic. But there really had not been any in-depth characterization on the condition in the breed, nor had it correlated it to the history uh, and clinical signs. And the signs are clearly related to the upper airway. They're described as raspy or, or gurgly breathing. So raspy or gurgly breathing, snoring, difficulty breathing, uh, decreased ability to exercise, heat intolerance. And um, it can be so bad that it can actually lead to death and severe incapacitation. This is the uh, first Norwich Terrier I did a permanent tracheostomy on. <laughs> 